Good morning students. Today you will learn how to calculate the difference between two times and find start or end times for a given interval. Elapsed time. Elapsed time in simple terms is the amount of time that passes from the start of an event to its end. Three different types of question under elapsed time are Given a starting time and an ending time, find out how much time was spent. Given a start time and the amount of time spent, tell the finishing time. Given an ending time and the amount of time spent, tell the starting time. Key points to remember. You need to understand the difference between AM and PM. There are only 60 minutes in an hour. Therefore, using addition won't always work. You have to think it through. Midnight starts a new day. 12 a.m. midnight is the beginning of each new day. You probably get up around 7 a.m. 10.30 or 11 a.m. you are thinking about lunch. 12 p.m. is noon. Afternoon is past morning. Is it a.m. or p.m.? Dinner time, p.m. Getting ready for school, a.m. Getting ready for bed, p.m. Each number on a clock represent five minutes. Replacing the numbers with multiples of five will help you see why there are 60 minutes in an hour. What time will it be one hour later than the given time? We are going to add an hour in the hours. The minute remains the same. 3.17 p.m. become 4.17 p.m. 11.53 p.m. become 12.53 a.m. 7.43 p.m. become 8.43 p.m. 2.51 a.m. become 3.51 a.m. The pattern is easy. What time will it be 15 minutes later than the given time in the picture? That is 9.02. If you add 15 minutes to the 2 minutes we have, the time will be 9.17. What time will it be 15 minutes later than the given time in the picture? That is 8.55. If we add 15 minutes to the 55 minutes we have, the time will be 8.70. Only 60 minutes in an hour. So simply adding will not work. In 5 minutes it will be 9. We still have 10 more minutes. In 10 more minutes it will be 9.10 or 10 minutes after 9. What time will it be 15 minutes later than the given time? We will be adding minutes in minutes. 3.17 pm become 3.32 pm. 11.53 p.m. become 12.08 a.m. 7.47 p.m. become 8.02 p.m. 2.51 p.m. become 3.06 p.m. Let's try something more challenging. What time will it be in 2 hours and 7 minutes than the given time in the picture? That is 9.02. Let's look at what time will it be in 2 hours. In 2 hours, it will be 11.02. Now add 7 minutes. That makes the time 11.09. What time will it be in 2 hours and 7 minutes later than the given time? We are going to add hours in hours and minutes in minutes. 3.17 p.m. become 5.24 p.m. 10.51 a.m. become 12.58 p.m. 7.43 a.m. become 9.50 a.m. 2.51 p.m. become 4.58 p.m. Time word problems. Amna started reading a great book at 6.13 p.m. She finished at 9.28 p.m. How long did she spend reading? Count up the hours and then the minutes. From 6.13 to 7.13 is 1 hour. From 7.13 to 8.13 is 1 hour. From 8.13 to 9.13 is 1 hour. 
equals to 3 hours from 9:13 to 9:23 is 10 minutes from 9:23 to 9:28 is 5 minutes equal 15 minutes amna spent 3 hours and 15 minutes in reading let's look at another example aisha left home to visit her grandmother at 7:13 am her bike ride lasted 18 minutes what time did she arrive hint if you had 20 minutes she would arrive have arrived at 7:33 am so we count back 2 minutes from 7:33 when we take 2 minutes away we get aisha's arrival time of 7:31 am let's look at another example students arrive at school at 8:30 am they get back on the buses around 3:15 pm how long is the school day let's take it step by step step 1 8:30 to 2:30 would be 6 hours step 2 now add the 45 remaining minutes step 3 The total is 6 hours and 45 minutes. Let's try this problem another way. Students depart the buses at 8:30 a.m. They get back on the buses around 3:15 p.m. How long is the school day? You could also say from 8:30 to 3:30 is 7 hours. Then subtract the minutes as you count back from 3:30 to 3:15, which makes 15 minutes. This will give you a total of 6 hours 45 minutes. Elapsed time practice. Uma left home at 10:15 a.m. to head to the pool. He arrived at 10:37 a.m. How long was his ride? His ride is of 22 minutes. Let's look at another example. At 4:33 p.m., Sara left the grocery store. She spent 1 hour and 16 minutes shopping. What time did she arrive at the store? Sara's arrival time is 3:17 p.m. Let's look at another example. Daud jogged with his dog from 1:14 p.m. to 3:03 or p.m. He stopped for a 15 minute break. How long did he spend jogging? Daud spent 1 hour 34 minutes. Let's look at another example. Umar and Tariq left Lahore at 8 a.m. and arrived in Islamabad at 11:43 a.m. They stopped for lunch and were back on the road at 1:15 p.m. They arrived in Rawalpindi at 9:16 p.m. How much time did they spend driving? How long was their lunch break? They drove 11 hours. and 44 minutes the lunch lasted 1 hour and 32 minutes hope you enjoyed the lesson thank you